Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I am out here in the garden on this warm and steamy day, hanging out with one of the handful of surviving cucumber plants in the garden right now. The tomatoes are doing great. They're beautiful. And I've been bringing in blushing tomatoes every day this week. The beans, I, my goodness, the beans have been amazingly prolific. I've got cans and cans of them down in the basement from putting all of them up as they come in. But the cucumbers just haven't been so great. I've had six cucumbers. Six cucumbers so far. Six. And I don't know if you know this about me, but pickles are kind of my thing. Um, I have folks who've been checking in with me for the last two weeks saying, where are my pickles? Where are my pickles? And I have almost no cucumbers to make pickles out of. Luckily, Lib and I were out running errands, getting a new bike chain, and we stumbled across a farmer's market and a lovely woman named Mary sold us all of her pickling cukes. So we're gonna make up some spicy bread and butters because those are the ones that everybody's clamoring for. So come on in the kitchen. Let's make up something delicious. So Mary totally hooked me up at the farmer's market. I purchased many pounds of pickling cucumbers from her at a very fair price. I sliced them up into quarter inch rounds. I added four medium sized red onions also cut up, a bunch of ice cubes and a half a cup of salt. And then it sat in the refrigerator for about three and a half hours. I've got my jars all sterilized and ready in the dishwasher. I've got my big canning pot on standby. I'm gonna rinse off my cucumbers and onions right now, Get all, pick out all the ice cubes um, because we don't want ice cubes to wind up in the jars. That nonsense will burst a jar. <laughs> I'm not speaking from experience or anything. Our cucumbers and onions are rinsed and ready to go. Our pot's on standby. It needs like two more minutes to come up to temp. My jars are in the dishwasher and they are ready to go. So we're gonna put the brine together. Today we're gonna make a spicy take on bread and butter pickles. I have been doing this recipe Oh my gosh, almost, it's gotta be 10 years now I've been doing this recipe. And it's a little different every year because I change it up a little bit every year. Um, but it's a relatively simple kind of recipe. It starts with apple cider vinegar. And I've got 10 cups of apple cider vinegar on the stove ready for us. Got 10 cups of sugar right here. We're also going to be adding mustard seeds. A nice big fat pinch of cloves. I think there are eight of them in there. A little bit of crushed red pepper flake. Some turmeric. And some celery seed. I'm gonna get that apple cider vinegar started to warm on medium high while I whisk in the sugar. It's gonna take it a few minutes. It's it's a lot of sugar. Um, so I'm gonna whisk that in and bring it up to a simmer. Okay, so this is why my pickles are different from year to year. I was standing over there and I was looking at the garlic that I've got set aside to add to the jars and I was like, oh, I'd like some garlic in the brine too. So I, rough chopped probably six or seven cloves. I'm gonna just dump them into here. Give it just a little bit more of a kick. While I'm stirring this around to make sure that the sugar dissolves and gets incorporated, I'm gonna add those other things. Okay, we've got our garlic in there. I'm gonna add the turmeric and then mustard seeds. And here are our cloves. Hot pepper flakes 
and celery seed. And meanwhile, let's get our jars filled. Into the bottoms of these jars, before I fill them, I'm going to add in some hot peppers from last year. Just, they're just dried. I'm gonna snap the stems off and pop them in. Um, some whole garlic. I'm just gonna divide this among the jars. And just a few peppercorns a piece. So I'm gonna be packing these jars pretty tight. Part of it is that I have a lot of cucumbers, but also a big part of this is I don't wanna leave a whole lot of space for bubbles, and I want to fill these as full as I can so that I don't wind up with like a gap on the bottom where it's just all liquid and everything's floating. It just it just doesn't look as pretty. So I would like very much for these not to float. <laughs> um, so I'm packing them pretty tightly in here. I'm squishing them down real good. I got a dozen full jars here ready for brine. And I probably have another six to eight jars worth of cucumbers. I'm gonna run downstairs. The brine is simmering on the stove on low and we're gonna let it do that for about five minutes. We got enough cucumbers to do a sweet 16 of pickles, so that's what we're gonna do. I've got all my jars stuffed. Come look at these beauties. So, before I forget, we're gonna add the pickle crisp. I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of pickle crisp to each pint. Don't forget to get your bubbles out. That's really important. You wanna make sure there aren't any bubbles because you know what expands when it gets hot? Air, um, and that will burst your jars. So just give it a nudge. You may have to add some extra brine at the end once you've done that. Yep, see this guy? I got the air out and now it needs a little more brine at the top. So I'm gonna add a little bit of brine into pretty much all of these because they are, they are now low. Okay, I kind of eyeballed it, and now I'm gonna double check. Um, did you know this isn't just for debubbling? There are notches, there are marks all down here that show you how much headspace. So I need a half inch headspace, which is this notch right here, and I'm just gonna rest it in the jar 
at that spot. All right, we are good to go. Everybody's right at about a half inch. My bad, sweet 17. Look at these brave little soldiers getting all ready to go into the canner. I'm just using some plain white vinegar to wipe the rims on these. This is a very sticky brine. Um, and it will also stain your stuff yellow. So be mindful of that. So because this is such a sticky brine, I wanna make sure these rims are really clean so that they seal. My lids have been sitting in a little bit of hot water just to soften them up. I do not bring them to a boil. Ball does not recommend that you do that anymore. So I've just had them in hot water. And I'm just gonna put these on finger tight. And by finger tight, I mean turn it until you would have to use your wrist and then stop. If you screw these down really hard, all you're gonna get is a buckled lid and that's no fun. For real y'all, how nice is it to be able to find all these canning supplies right now? We have a, a, a farmer's co-op near us and they have been stocked since like May. It's been wonderful. Remember last year I was driving to every hardware store I could go to. Oh my goodness, how nice to be able to find things again. Look at this, we've got 17 brave little soldiers, all cleaned up, lidded, packed, ready to go in the canner. I'm gonna process these for 15 minutes. So I should wind up doing, I would say, two to three canner loads. Canner is boiling, so let's get them in. For seven or in, I am gonna set my timer for 15 minutes and then we'll do the next seven and then we'll do the last of them. So I'll see you in about 45 minutes. So what are you doing today, Sue? I don't know, hanging out in my kitchen waiting for the jar lids to pop. They make such a good sound. They do. So we used our peppers. We did. This year. These, These well, are 2020. These are last year. Yeah, these are the 2020 peppers. So we grew, those, we grew those here. Aren't they pretty? We grew these in our yard. Our garden peppers. Yeah, these were our garden peppers, Thai chilies. We also have these, which are also Thai chilies, but they're from 2019. And these are a little longer, and we were just doing a side-by-side -side smell comparison. And these smell significantly more aggressive than last year's. Yeah, these, these are... A, like spicy right out the gate, but these are a little sweet. Yeah, these are sweeter. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Those this are. This almost smells like candy. I'm getting like waffles and molasses out of it, which is super weird coming mm. from spicy peppers. But <laughs> that led us to wonder if we could grind up some of them and make them into a powder. Initially, because, oh, we have two batches, maybe we should, uh, take the older one and turn it into something else that we can use, but because of the difference in smells, we decided that we should probably blend them up a little bit. Make us a complicated spice. Yeah. Yeah. So how are we gonna do this? We have an old uh, coffee grinder. Hold it down here. Right here. Okay. Do not do this with a coffee grinder that you expect to use ever again for something oh other than spices. Yeah, don't, yeah. Have a dedicated grinder for spices if you can. First thing we're gonna do before it goes in the grinder, um, I dried these with the stems on them. Somebody had recommended that that was the best way to preserve your Thai chili peppers was with the stem. So anytime I cook with them, I've gotta pull the stems off. 
So we're gonna do a little bit of that. And we're gonna keep the seeds in for these, right? Yes. That's where all the spice is. Mm-hmm. Should we be doing this outdoors? Spicy. Okay. All right, finish that up. Please be done. Oh, that's beautiful. That looks really good. Yeah. Whew. Is it? My face it's is like. Little. That's really good. It's, uh, there's a lot going on there. Uh, that smells really good. We're going to taste test this. I think we're going to do some homemade bread, some cream cheese, just a little dust on top. Just a dust. Just a dust. Just a dust. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Oh. I just had a little bit of heat. Mmm. A lot of heat. That's complicated. Wow, you get the heat, but you also get that intense, like, concentrated pepper flavor in there. You know, like you do it with a jalapeno? It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Oh, nice. Pepper flavor. This came out great. <laughs> Ground pepper. It came out great. Mmm. It's very fine. Mm. Came out very fine. That'll mm. be good for cooking. That'll be great for cooking. You may have to reduce down a little bit um, the amount that you add in there because it's got so much heat in it. Beautiful little anchovy jar is going to be perfect for this. Mm. And that's yeah. Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. Stuff. Stuff and things. Big thank you for Mary from Mary's Garden, whom we met at the farm stand for hooking us up with these lovely cucumbers that she grew that we have now turned into our spicy bread and butter pickles. So just hanging out here for a little while, listening to the, the lids pop and what a wonderful thing that is. So. Yeah. Hot pepper with dinner? Yeah. Yeah. And thank you so much for hanging out with us today while we got this pickle business in hand. We'll catch you up soon. Take care. Bye. All right, so oh, we got... They're, they're so tall. I thought you wanted the table a little bit, or no? You'll have to step backwards in order to get the table in there. It's not, you don't have to show my head. We can just... And okay. here, <laughs> we have peppers, and then the thing that we're going to put the peppers into. I'm scared that this is going to hurt our lungs. <laughs>